Hey everybody, uh, by this point, if you've been following the channel for a minute, you probably know that I do like experimental music a lot. Um, and, um, hmm, yeah, I don't even really know how to preface this. Um, there's a, there's a band that I've been meaning to check out for a, for a very long time. I first heard of them in, um, Tool's Discord server, uh, that was actually where I first heard of King Crimson as well. They, they discussed a few different bands, uh, like Richelieu and Carnival, King Crimson, and, and this band I'm going to bring up. And they were what originally made me want to react to 21st Century Schizoid Man, which eventually led to me doing the whole Court of the Crimson King album. And um, another group that they mentioned was a group called Swans. Now, uh, Swans is a very difficult to define group. And... Um, yeah, I, uh, I began a little journey into one of their releases called The Seer, by which I mean I did the whole album, and the album was over two hours long, so um, there's a lot of that coming in the future. Uh, and I'm making this video right here to kind of serve as a, almost a warning <laughs> more than anything else, um, and also as a thank you to the... There was one person who requested this group. It's only ever been one. But this single person has requested them a few different times. Um, and I want to thank you again for uh, reminding me about the group a couple different times. Um, because, yeah, I, I had intended to check them out on my own time. And I never really got around to it. And then I saw your comments almost a year ago or whenever it was you first commented on the channel. And, um, yeah, it's been, uh, it's been a while. But I finally got to it. And I am very happy that I did. So, to anyone who is unaware of what this group is, uh, they've been around for decades, um, and they've been kind of an underground influence on a lot of groups that I like, you know, lots of progressive groups have cited them as an influence, um, and lots of groups that push boundaries have cited them as an influence. Uh, Swans, I think they're only, I'm not entirely certain, they're fronted by Michael Gira, who's kind of the... I think it's Gira. Gira or Jira? I hope it's Gira because if it's not, I've been mispronouncing his name in all these videos, but I, I <laughs> we'll see. Um, he's like the guy who makes a lot of the compositions, plays a lot of instruments, and writes, and my, if I'm not mistaken, writes all the lyrics. He's a very interesting dude. Um, and uh, yeah, this album, The Seer, nearly broke me. Now, the first song, thankfully, is one of the most accessible on the record. So the first video is coming out very soon, might even be tonight. Um, if not, it'll be tomorrow. And the first track on the album is called Lunacy. Now, there's 11 tracks on the album. Uh, one of them is over 30 minutes long. Uh, the whole thing requires patience. The album did something that I've never really heard an album do stylistically before. Like, I've heard it a few times, but never in this drastic and dramatic of a way. Um, I really like darker uh, stylistic choices. You might have noticed that as well, if you've been watching for a while. And this record, The Seer, thrusts you into the heart of darkness. And keeps kind of almost crushing you down... It's, it's fantastical, it's gritty, it's agonizingly beautiful. Um, at times, it's almost tedious. They, the, the band likes to like almost tease you. Uh, they're almost, uh, it's, it's brutal, it's brutal. But then if you're, if you're patient, then these incredible, almost transcendental moments come out of nowhere and it's, and it's really cool and special and nuts. The first, like, two-thirds of the album is super dark. There's a few moments of light, but a lot of it's very bleak and heavy. And um, there's a lot of different types of instrumentation. Uh, there's some parts that feel more like ambient music than anything else. Um, and there's parts that feel like prog music. Uh, but then they put you down as far down as I've ever been put into the pit of, like, despair by music. And then they lift you up out of it. And the album has an almost triumphant and a, a triumphant ending, you know? Um, and it 
was very overwhelming to listen to. It was very, very beautiful. Um, but it's also a very challenging listen uh, because of how dense everything is and then how there's certain sections that are very repetitious where um, normally with prog music, you know, or music that's progressive in nature, I'm used to lots of changes, like these big transitions that are sudden and like completely shift the feel of a song or the rhythm of the song. Uh, a lot of my favorite prog bands do that a lot. A lot of my favorite music does that a lot. This group does something a little bit different where they'll like lay a foundation and then like repeat the foundation till it gets drilled in your head. Then they'll start adding layers on top of it and like behind it and slowly build it out and make it more expansive and more complete. And then they'll like change it for a second and then bring it back in and they'll get louder and then it'll get quieter. And it's, yeah, it's, um, it's quite interesting. So I'm, I'm making this video because I, I, um, I just want to let you know why there's going to be a bunch of videos for a band that's a super underground band that not a lot of people have heard of called Swans. Um, and I, yeah, there's going to be like 11, 11 videos of them. So, um, yeah, if you want to join me for that, feel free to. And if they're not your thing, um, just, you know, uh, stay tuned. We're going to, you know, do other stuff. Um, and uh, yeah, we've also got all that Joy Division is in the is in the backlog as well, um, and some other some other exciting things coming soon. So thank you so much for listening to this. Basically, just me rambling, um, but I I really felt a lot from this record. Um, then not only musically but lyrically, it was really interesting too. And like I said, the first track is one of the most accessible, which is really good because it's a, it's a good way to ease into the record. Um, but uh, yeah, for those of you who do decide, who decide to disregard my warning that this is not easy to listen to music and decide to take the plunge with me, welcome along. Um, this is a group that I think if you have the, the taste for it or develop the taste for it, um, it's a very, very rewarding experience. Uh, I'm going to be listening to the record again. It's almost a record like Topographical Oceans in that it's not the type of thing that I think I could listen to regularly. It's very much an experience album that like will so overwhelm me that I would need like six months to recover. <laughs> but just just for now, I, I do want to hear it again just to further comprehend whatever it was that I was listening to. Um, yeah, the more I think about it, the more I think that it's it's a work of genius. So, anyway, this is eight minutes of me talking about a band. Thanks for joining me. I hope you're having a great week. Stay tuned for more videos. Deathstroke 9.